Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at, I would call it a dress watch uh, But this one is certainly for gentlemen with larger wrists Way larger than mine, that's for sure um, And it's from a company called Fledermann von Riest I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure uh, Play the intro Alright guys, let's get into it then uh, I had a, a comment a while back there saying Oh your videos are too long Aye, well To be honest with you, if it's me that's spending hundreds of pounds Or sometimes even thousands uh, if you want to spend that kind of money after watching a, a seven minute video, well, good luck with that. To be honest, I'd rather watch a video that's, say, between 20 and 30 minutes long that goes more into detail about the watch. You know that I, I'm not trying to sell the watch, I'm just trying to explain to you. And, I, and if it's my money, I want I want as much detail as possible before I spend that kind of money. Anyway... If you want a short version uh, of this Flederman Von Riest watch, uh, TLDR, beautiful watch, but it's a bit big. Thanks for watching. <laughs> right. Seriously, let's get into this then, shall we? Um, first up, I'll show you the packaging. Cardboard box. Move my coffee. Nice wooden box here. Get rid of that. Right, aye, nice wooden box. It's, it's quite heavy as well. Um, and it's pretty standard inside. It's nice material though, nice and soft. Cushion nails of really good quality. Um, obviously, the watch that I've got here is a prototype, so you probably get paperwork and warranty card, etc., etc., when you get the production model. Uh, aye, nice boxer. Right, let me show you the watch. I kind of like that on its back. Oh, I can lay it like that, I suppose. Right, the Fledermann von Riest. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the rest of it. Just doesn't work with my Scottish accent. Uh, first up, I'll just leave that there rather than moving it about. I'll show you the sides and the case back and that later. Right, this then is coming to Kickstarter shortly. Um... When is it? The 1st of May. So, I thought I'd better get this review done quite sharpish. Um, Price-wise, um, before I tell you the price, this is actually the retail price. So, I'm pretty sure that the Kickstarter, you know, early bird pricing or whatever, is going to be a lot less. Uh, don't quote me on that. I've no idea. They've not given me any details about that. <clears throat> So the retail price is $899 or £690 thereabouts. Um, as I say, it's available on Kickstarter on the 1st of May. If you want more detail, if I've missed something um, in this review, you can, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and look at like the backstory and... Um, other specs and whatnot, but I, th I think I've got most of the specs. Uh, where are we? Aye, dimensions then. As I said earlier, it's a big watch. This is for, I would say, I mean, it's a dress watch, right? So you're not wanting a massive day. It's too big for me. But I would say um, people with a wrist size of like seven and a half inches and above this would suit I'm not giving you a wrist shot today 
because it, it just looks silly on my wrist. Now remember, it's a it's, well they they class it as a forty four mil watch. Uh, I measured it in at forty three point three, and I've been able to wear forty three mil watches before, no problem. Um, but remember, there's no rotating bezel, and it's all dial. It it wears massive. It really does. Uh, let me talk, I'll say to you the rest of the spec, the sizes, dimensions and whatnot. As I say, the overall diameter I measured in at 43.3 mil. The thickness is 10.6 mil. The lug to lug I measured in at 51.3 mil and it has a 22 mil lug width. The movement inside this is a rather good one. Um, quite unusual. I've, I think this is my the first time I've had a watch in with this movement inside it. It's a Salita SW260. It uh, runs at 28,800 vibrations an hour per hour. Uh, it's 4 hertz, obviously. It's got 31 joules. Uh, it's hackable, self-winding, and has somewhere between 38 to 40 hour power reserve. The case itself, uh, it's fully polished 316L stainless steel, but there are, it's not just been blitzed, polished. There is quite a few details on it that I'll show you later. In fact, I'll show you the now. Well, if you look at the case side, you can see the horizontal... Uh, markings there kind of breaks up the side profile it's nice and obviously the same on the other side a bit of dust there ah there's no getting away this is a beautiful watch I just wish it was smaller um, so it would fit my wrist because it is it's really nice the build quality is amazing and the, the quality of the, the finishing the polish it's like a mirror. It's fantastic. Yeah, good attention to detail on it. Um, I feel the polished stainless steel. Um, right, the dial. The one I've got, uh, it's like a it's no white, it's like a creamy dial, almost beige, off-white colour even. Um, all the arabics are applied, all the markers are applied. It has a small seconds hand uh, sub-dial thing there at six. Now, I was looking at this watch last night when I was doing my prep for this video, uh, you know, for my website. And I was having a good look at it under macro. Now... I'm no 100% sure, but see the Arabics that are on this. I actually think that they've been heat treated, i.e. blued. Because you could, I'm not sure if you could see it on camera. But they do look blued to me, you can see it there on the 10. And on the other ones as well. I'm pretty sure they've been blued. I mean, and that... Can't be easy. I've seen like blued hands and all that before, even a second hand and whatnot, but I've never actually seen it on the actual Arabics itself. So I'm presuming that can't be easy because there is a fine line eh, between, well, basically making it look fantastic and basically making a mess of it. Anyway, it can be hard to do, and I'm sure the failure rate for when doing this is, it must be quite high. Anyway, I'm blabbing on. We need to make a short video, don't I? Uh, the, uh, there's printing on the dial there that you can see below the applied logo at 12. The printing underneath it just tells you, obviously, the brand, the model, and your water resistance and whatnot. And that's it, that's the only printing it. And I do think it looks balanced because of that sub-dial at six with the running seconds on it, uh, small seconds. 
So it is a balanced aisle. The only thing I'm no keen on is I would have preferred it if they took the frame away from the sub dial at six and just made it more more cohesive with the rest of the dial so it all matches. I don't like that frame. I've got to say that. But the rest of the watch is superb. Uh, stick hands as well. Uh, obviously suits the style of the watch. And you have the red markers at 12, 3 and 9. And also on the subdial, that the wee Arabics in the subdial are red as well. Just so it all ties in. So, uh, is it? I've, I've got to say, when the watch came in, I'm like, who the fuck is that made for? Arnold Schwarzenegger? The Rock? That's massive! Right, but then I put my taste to one side and actually looked at the watch. You know, from somebody that's got a larger wrist and wants to buy this. And I can definitely say you're getting a beautiful watch. It really is a really, really nice watch. Uh, I'll say it for the last time, I just wish it was smaller. Can you imagine this in a 38 or 39 maybe? I mean, I, I, I'd love this. Now, this video is sponsored by uh, Flederman and they have promised to send me a production sample uh, once they're ready. Now, obviously, it's not a watch that I'm going to wear, so I was thinking, once they do send me it out, I'll do a giveaway. So, if you're in the market for, like, a larger um, dress-style watch, then I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Obviously, with a few months, Kickstarter, I put, say, average four, five, maybe six months. Uh, it'll be this year anyway. Uh, that's what I'll do, is I'll do a video and I'll I'll give it away. Um, so please stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, right, let's talk more about the specs. Done the dial and all that. Uh, there is loom on this. It doesn't actually say on the website what kind of loom it is. It just says super loom and over. Uh, but I'm guessing it's C3. I don't think it's X1 grade or anything like that, but it's a dress watch, so I wasn't expecting any loom at all, to be honest with you, but the hour and minute hands are loomed, and the loom is actually good for what you're getting. Uh, Strap-wise, this one came on uh, an Italian leather strap, and it is very, it's a good quality strap. And they've got like a, a butterfly clasp there. I don't mind butterfly clasps as long as it's on a two-piece strap. I hate it on a bracelet because you can never get the right size. Uh, but it's it's quite easy. It's just like wearing a two-piece, but it's a bit more refined rather than just, you know, a tang and buckle type thing. It's all nice. It's all really nicely done and it's all signed as you can see there and polished as, as well good quality strap uh, aye can't complain I'll put that back there so you can see the dial again oh what I'll do is I'll keep a wee you could hear that there there's a line that I'll just get a wee line just to get the Small seconds hand moving there. Right. Uh, crystal wise, it got a flat sapphire, and there is um, AR coating on it. I'm not sure how much. But you can see it at various angles, and that you can see the like the bu uh, blue hue coming off it. Water resistance is 100 meters or 330 feet. The case back is fully polished. It is screwed down, and it's got an etch logo. That's it. There's no specs around. It's just an etch logo. Uh, I'll just show you. Yeah. That's it. I'm pretty sure it's screwed down. Ah, it looks screwed down to me. Right. 
Right. Um, Crown. The Crown I measured in at 6mm. It's got Crown guards as well, which is a bit unusual uh, for a dress style watch, but looks good to me. I like it. Uh, the size of the Crown is 6mm. It's push-pull and it's signed as well. Uh, the total weight of this uh, on the supply strap I measured in I weighed in at 102.3 grams. Uh, as I said earlier on, you can get more details of the watch. I think I've covered most of it. You can get it. I'll leave a link in the description of their website. I've also left a link to their upcoming Kickstarter campaign. Uh, as I say, launching on the 1st of May. Warranty-wise, you're looking at two years international. And there's three different colour variations of this. There's a navy blue, like a black charcoal type colour. And this one, which is like off-white, kind of creamy colour. They call it antique map. Fine, fair enough. That's basically it, guys. Um, as I say, short video today. Um, but as I say, I will, uh, once I get one in, a production one i'll do a giveaway for it uh thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe um and i'll see you in the next one toodles